Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, my angels. It's the Archangel here, and today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. I'm starting to change gears away from New World and get back to things that I actually enjoy doing. Um, so today we're going to go over how to mod Baldur's Gate 3. Um, with the game in early access, obviously not everything is out there, but if you go into the modding community, people have unlocked, data mined, and released so much content. So, um, we're just gonna be going over what I do, what I use to mod. Um, I have wiped all of my mods and everything off the computer so that I can start fresh and take you guys through it step by step. So let's get into this. So the download manager that we'll be using today is the Candor Mod Manager. I've had way less problems with this um, compared to Vortex, and I haven't even used the other one that everybody's using for this. So we're just going to go to manual download, slow download, wait your five seconds, and there it is. So while this downloads, I'm going to download the other mods we'll be using. Um, we're going to be using the uh, customizers com compendium compendium so we're gonna be using the customize <laughs> customizers um, compendium and for this mod mod we're also going to need the uh, patch 3 bug bug fixers this is important because after patch 3 um, it allows you to download and use mods again and I've just kept it downloaded because it, I, from what I understand it makes everything a little more compliant if you guys don't use this anymore let me know because I just haven't changed it so we'll download this as well and then the improved UI um, is also a requirement for the um, compendium compendium for fifth edition um, we're gonna download the both of them with the origin unlocker so it's in acquire for UI have the UI slow download this slow download this all right so we're gonna open up the candor manager here it is so this is pretty simple whatever you're using unzip your pack I use WinRAR drag and drop this will unpack it to your desktop open and then you'll run the application right here when this launches it should give you you know boulders gate 3 Baldur's gate 3 hit load new game and that will ask you for select the game um, exe so for this exe I happen to know the exact location and I will leave it for you guys below so it should be steam backslash steam apps backslash common boulders gate bin and this will bring you here so now these are your application launchers these are your dot exes for boulders gate um, I run normal I don't run the uh, direct the direct version yeah, Direct X 11. I don't run that. I just run the normal version. So I'm going to use the normal version. Hit open. So now it has Baldur's Gate 3. Uh, we can set default. Okay. So here we are. As you can see, there are no mods on this. And we're going to add mods. I like to put all my mods into their own folder or onto my desktop so I can always find them. So I have a pre-made folder right here. I'll call it BG3 Mods. So now you can go into your downloads. We'll take our patch 3 modification improved UI and customizers comport Compodium. Comporium? I don't know why I want to keep saying Comporium. All right. So now we'll go to Add Mods. We'll know that it's on our desktop. BG3 Mods. 
open. So you do not need to unzip these files. Do not unzip them, leave them inside and hit open. It'll ask you what you would want to name this file. You can hit okay. Now there it is. Now we're gonna do the rest of them. All right, now that we have our three mods in here, um, we can install mods. So all you have to do is select it, click twice. Would you like to select mod? Yes. Would you like to select? Yes. Okay, and for your uh, patch three fixer, all you need to do is open it up, unpack it, and drop it into your Boulders Gate 3 mods folder, which will be documents, Larian Studios, Boulders Gate 3 mods, and you can just go ahead and drop it right there. Go ahead and close out of those. And now this is what it should look like. I like to put it in there just so that I know I have it. It will not activate it. And now we should be able to install mods so that everything's installed all right we should be good make sure it's installed oops i double clicked on it actually disabled it okay so we should be able to launch this game now Okay, so here we are, game is launching. We'll do no game. We're unable to create a working story, your atom setup it might be invalid, the game will continue for the main adventure. It's fine. Saying the same thing. Pretty sure the patch is supposed to fix that, but that's okay. Who am I? Alrighty, so for this specific one, appearance, um, all your faces should be marked with a star for the new ones that you can choose. Which we'll be doing a little mod review later. Look, you can even be Shadow Hearts face, one, two. Um, it should also unlock new origin stories no i think it's an acolytes background right yeah Alrighty. so with that guys that's how you install these mods and um yeah so i appreciate you guys for coming out uh if this is at all helpful make sure you like this video um if you want more content like this make sure you subscribe and with that, always remember, never be too afraid to stretch those wings. They'll take you somewhere someday. I'll catch you in the next one. Dang, that's, that's dangerous. dangerous.